Hi everyone, and on this elevator part project, I'm going to be wiring up this really neat old Curtis elevator call station. So let's get started. So this here is a really neat old elevator fixture, and it has a single button and an up and a down light. So in this project, I'm going to make it where pressing in on the button turns on both of the lights. Now before I get started with the wiring, let's take a closer look at the fixture. At the bottom is the Curtis text. So here's the button, and it feels like a very large and durable button. Here's the down light and the up light. And if you look really closely, there's actually an arrow in the light. So now I'm gonna take the plate off and we'll take a closer look inside. So here is what the inside of the button looks like. So these lights are mounted to the plate and you can see here how they are mounted. So there's a little nut there that holds it down. I don't really find it necessary to take these off so I'm not going to do that. So here are the two lights. Each of them have these rings to keep the light contained to the specific arrow. Here's one of the bulbs, it uses an MB bulb. And just looking at it, it looks like this bulb is burned out and the other side is missing a bulb. And it looks like this one screw is holding in the lamps. So removing that one screw allows these lamps to come off. And down here is the button. You can see it's a very sturdy and very well-built switch. And I actually just noticed this. This looks like the other screw for the other side of the lamps. So my first instinct would be to take out these screws. Looks like my assumption was correct, except for me not loosening the screw entirely. And there's the button removed. So taking a closer look at the button, it appears that there is only one set of contacts, at least on this one. It looks like there could be two. It's also really gross looking. And it's really simple how it works. When you press the button down, these contacts get pressed against those two bottom ones, which completes the circuit. And then when you let go of the button, it goes across these two top ones. So you could have a normally open or a normally closed switch. As always, I'm going to be using the normally open switch. So as for the lights, there is this common bar here that connects both of the bulbs together. So that will probably go to the negative of the battery. Probably going to just directly connect the battery to the back here. And then here we have the red and the green. So that would be green for up, red for down. I'm going to take these wires, connect them directly to the switch, and then I'm going to connect the other end of the battery directly to the switch. So that'll create the circuit where whenever you press the button in, it provides power to both of the lamp sockets, lighting up both of the bulbs. Okay, so the wiring is now complete. And I did a quick cleanup of the Curtis logo, just kind of filled in some of the text on there so it's nice and complete. And now this project is done. So you can see here when I press in on the button, the two lights come on and it looks really nice. You can see the two arrows light up nice and bright. So that is it for this project. Though just taking a look at it again, I might actually go back and clean off this paint. I kind of just got lazy and didn't do that. So I'll probably go back and do that at another time. But the wiring is complete and I'm really happy with the results. So thank you for watching this rather short part video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.